recall that we've just translated accounting transactions back into English. So with the data that we have in our T accounts, we are now going to create the statement of cash flows. And what the statement of cash flows does is it shows you the activities the business engaged in this year and whether those were operating activities. And you'll remember that operating activities have to do with changes in current assets, current liabilities, or the income statement, because those are our daily business. Whether it's investing, which is changes in my non-current assets, like property, plant, and equipment, and investment, or whether those activities have to do with financing, and financing activities are changes in long-term liabilities and stockholders' equity. So what we do when we do a cash flow statement is we find the answer first. And the answer first is what is our ending cash balance? And our ending cash balance is 25000 so I'm going to put that down because I know where I'm headed. I also need to write down what my beginning cash balance is. And the beginning cash balance, since this was a brand new company that had nothing in the cash account before we sold stock, is zero. So beginning cash is zero. So I can see that my change in cash is $25,000. So all the transactions in the cash account, we will now sort by operating, investing, and financing. So looking at the operating section, I want to know how much cash did we get from customers. And if I look at this, I remember operating, I got 5000 and then the customers paid their bills, so I got another ten. So the cash I received from customers totals $15,000. It's these two. I also look over on the other side of cash, and I see that cash went down 3000 And the reason cash went down 3000 is that we paid expenses. So I'm going to write paid expenses, $3,000. So the change in cash from operations, 15 minus 3, is $12,000. So cash flowed in from the business of $12,000. So if you ask me what my cash net income is, it's $12,000. If I tried to figure out what my financial statement net income is on that beautiful income statement, revenue minus expense, you can see that my net income is $7,000. So I would pay taxes, revenue minus expense, on $7,000, 15 minus 8, but the cash that I put in my pocket because the day-to-day -day business, the cash flow is 12. So that's what we call positive cash flow because am I generating more cash in my pocket than my net income? And that's a good thing. The next thing we're going to look at is investing. And I see that I have one I and the investing has to do with when I purchased equipment. So I buy equipment. And my cash went down by three thousand. Oh no, by five thousand when I purchased equipment. So I'm going to put that in brackets. So my cash from investing is a decrease of five thousand dollars. And then the last part is financing. And I see that financing. I've got two increases and one decrease. And the first ten thousand dollars was because. Um, Stock was sold to investors for $10,000, so that's a cash increase. And then I borrowed $10,000, borrowed on a note for $10,000, so my cash increased because I borrowed. So I used two forms of in, uh, financing. One was called equity financing because it's from stockholders, and the other one's from the bank. And then the last one I have that's financing is I paid a dividend to those stockholders. And I paid dividends of $2,000. So that's a cash outflow. 
So my cash from financing, 10 plus 10 minus 2 is 18 cash coming in. So if I take the 12, subtract the 5, and add the 18, do I get the change in cash for the year of 25,000? Positive cash inflows. Where did it primarily come from? It primarily came from what? From financing activities and also from operating activities. Thanks.